Hello, everybody. Gary here. Hope you're doing wonderful. It's May the uh, 4th, and of course, this is free comic book day. This is our day of the year, uh, and I'm just back in from my store. I actually got in about an hour and a half ago. Uh, me and my brother picked up a good family friend. Uh, we had to kind of crisscross town, go get him, go to the comic book store, which is on the other side of town, then take him back to his home, then come back to our house. So, And the store was jam-packed. I mean, it's pouring down rain here today and really messy and kind of ugly and dreary out, but that stopped no one. You know, there's only one free comic book a day a year, and uh, uh, that was much in evidence. Everybody really turned out for it despite the, you know, and I had to park like a block away. And usually when I go into my store, uh, you know, there's maybe at most like five or six people in there when it, while I'm there, sometimes none. Uh, and uh, but today it was like the line was snaking through the store and it was just crazy. Um, I actually, you guys will be a little disappointed in me, but I actually only got about half of what I was planning on getting. Um, it was really just too, uh, I forgot to take my list with me. Uh, I did remember a couple of things I wanted to pick up, and uh, but it was just really after about an hour. I was just really exhausted and ready to, you know, I'm not much for crowds, and that was just awful, but, um, and anyway, it was kind of fun, too, you know, but I really, um, it, it was really something, but anyway, on to the video, and I'm going to show you um, my haul for this week, I'm going to show you what I picked up today, I'm going to show you my freebies, and I'm going to a little something uh, that I'm adding to my 100 subscriber contest, just a little extra something to kind of sweeten the pot, uh, with, and uh, so I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Okay, on to the haul for this week. Actually, this is from last week. I'm wondering how many of you guys are reading uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, this is uh, Marvel, Bendis, McGiven. I really like this a lot. Should have taken these out of the bag, but maybe you can see that. This is pretty good. This is actually issue two, and I got it just to try it last week and liked it a lot and uh, would highly recommend it. I really love the old Guardians of the Galaxy. I think there's going to be a movie of this next year if I'm not mistaken. So I was trying to look for number one today and they didn't have a number one. And I was also trying to find the uh, Rick Remender Captain America that a couple of you have been showing and talking about that looks really good because I became a Remender fan with his, uh, he's doing Uncanny Avengers uh, as you know and, um, but you know, he didn't have that either, so those are going to have to be added to my folder. Um, also brand new, I finally got on the, uh, Age of Ultron, uh, bandwagon. This is another Bendis book, and, uh, this, um, I believe this came out this week. This is, I think it's issue number seven, but this is my first, the first one that I picked up, and as you can see, it's got, uh, Doctor Strange, uh, top and at the center top, and it's also got the Hulk and the thing, and uh, I see Captain America and Wolverine, a couple of other people, and um, anything that's got Doctor Strange on the cover, is kind of like having Thor on the cover, uh, it's, it's kind of like a must-have at my house, you know, I'm almost not allowed to come home without something Thor or something Doctor Strange, so there we go. Also, really enjoying this, um, this is issue number two of Thanos and enjoying this uh, quite a bit. I'm a little bit pleasantly surprised. Uh, I think it's quite good and it's a pretty good cover too. Thanos is kind of sitting on his throne and see the double skulls there and planet in the background. Thanos rising. Uh, this is a really good, another good one that I would highly recommend. Last week was a good week for my haul. And uh, this week was really good, too. Okay, also got Garfield for my great-nephews, Colin, uh, Connor and Dylan. Um, uh, Connor just turned six years old on May Day. So you can imagine, like, you know, when Great Uncle Gare shows up with the comic books, you know, that's like a, that's like a really big day. Okay, so that's it for my haul for this week. And 
So we're going to jump into, um, let's see, I'll show, got two figurines, and I actually got three books from the uh, store, three collections, got Weird War Mysteries, Showcase, Big Thick Edition, uh, for my stepdad, who's like a big freak about, you know, anything, any kind of war, or western, or anything like that, and, um, it was only like 20 bucks a regular price, so I got 50% off. Uh, so it was like $10, and that is not leaving his hands any kind of thing. Trust me on that. That's something that, you know, he was just like a dog with a bow, and he just ran off to his room with it. Uh, but I will try to show that in a future video. also picked up uh, my best friend. Uh, is a big fan of uh, Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Shazam. And uh, this is a collection of Superman versus Shazam, some stories by uh, Roy Thomas, Jerry Conway, uh, Rich Buck, Buckler, and the, the wonderful Gil Kane. Very good cover there. And you can see Supergirl down at the bottom. It's a collection. So this is another $20 book that I got for half price. Yeah, I mean, it's 19.99 and I got it 50% off. You just can't beat that. You know, there's no reason. Uh, but these are, these are. I'm not quite sure. These look like they might be from the 70s or the 80s. Um, really good, you know. Really, really wonderful, fun stuff. Um, also picked up um, the, um, uh, it has to be something Thor. And uh, I'll just say, uh, happy Iron Man today. Iron Man 3 uh, came out yesterday, and I hear that it's made almost $70 million its first day, and worldwide, almost half a billion dollars, $450 million plus dollars, which is just incredible. You think there's not going to be an Iron Man 4? Hmm, I wouldn't uh, bet against it. Uh, this is God Complex, Thor, Iron Man, Curse of Man. Are you paying attention, buddy? You know? And really awesome cover. And again, this is another, you know, $20. Oh, this one's a little bit smaller. Uh, this is collecting Iron Man Thor 1 through 4 by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning, illustrated by Scott Eaton. I have never seen this before. Uh, and so that's, uh, that's going to be a treat for us. Really like that. And, uh, okay, to the figurines. Um... Uh, what was it? I think it was Uncanny Avengers. Uh, they were, maybe the second one, they were fighting Apocalypse. Got this Apocalypse figurine. Really got this for my brother. And uh, it's it's really fantastic. It's still in the plastic. Uh, this is a $50 figurine. And, um, you know, got it for 25 bucks plus tax. So, you know, super poseable. 34 points of articulation. Apocalypse, you know, it's just hell. I could get these out of the package sometimes with all those wires and all that plastic. And I'm absolutely in love with this figurine. We have so many Thor figurines. Um, well, we do have Thor figurines, but Hulk figurines at my house. Uh, but this one, I'm just, just ape over. I just think this is fantastic. Uh, his regular price, and this was not bad at all. His regular price is like $35. Uh, got him for about 20 uh, and really cool. Get up there close. Rrr. You know, really great. Got the purple torn shirts. You know, really cool Hulk figuring. I'm just letting, he's so heavy. I was really shocked at how heavy he is. You know, really great piece. Going to enjoy that a lot. Uh, one of this is already like one of my favorite figurines. So now that's my haul, and that's the uh, the trade collections except for Weird War stories. Uh, these are the freebies that I got. A couple of things I picked up for my uh, stepdad is a big Archie fan, and they've got some of you guys may still be at you know Free Comic Book Day, and some of you may be going yet this afternoon or this evening. I was thinking about going again this evening, you know, hoping that the stores stand out, stand out a little bit, but I'm, I don't know, I'm tired and the weather's bad. I don't think I will, but this is a, it's actually a digest, like a larger issue, 
So he was very happy to get that, big Archie's fan. And also for uh, stepdad loves, I mentioned that he loves westerns. This is um, Lamore Kellerman. I guess it's supposed to be Louis Lamore who wrote all the westerns. Uh, western stories. I haven't really, I just saw westerns, you know, and grabbed it for him. And it was a freebie. I really don't know what this is. But, you know, it's right up his alley. So, and, and I don't mind black and white comic books at all. I love black and white comic books. You know, I grew up reading um, the newspaper strips during the, the week uh, when I was a kid and a teenager. And, you know, they were always in black and white. Uh, oh, uh, another issue from my uh, haul this week. This is The Shadow. I won't spend a lot of time on this. Talked about that a bit last week. This is the latest issue of, um, well, what I talked about in my last video was... Uh, Year One of the Shadow, done by Matt Wagner. This is the regular ongoing series of Dynamite's The Shadow, number 12. Um, I'm not crazy about the cover. It is a Francovilla, and it's good, but, you know, but I didn't really have time to, like, look for an alternate cover. I don't even know if there was one, but uh, look for the alternate covers. Okay, on to uh, the free, more freebie books that we got. Um, Limit was supposed to be six, but, you know. Uh, my guys at my store love me, so what can I say? Uh, Jeff Johns, uh, Free Comic Book Day, Last Son of Krypton, Special Edition. Looks pretty good. Got to get these in some some plastic with some boards. But I did want to show them to you guys. Um, got a big Avatar lover uh, at our house. This is also one of the free Comic Book Day books, Avatar. Pretty good. Um, let's see, Avengers vs. X-Men Legacy, who's working on this, Gage, Baldwin, I'm not quite sure who these people are, but, you know, it was free, grabbed it, looks like it might be okay, somebody here will like it, um, this is from my younger brother, he's a big Judge of Dredd fan, this is another free comic book day book. Even though I don't think it says on the cover. Wasn't this? Yeah, this was free comic book day. Judge Dredd, classic. Looks pretty good. Um, uh, my brother picked up Absolution. I have no idea what this is. Another gauge book. Uh, okay. Um... There's a couple of reprints from old, speaking of old, old school uh, comics, and um, I remember when I was a little kid, my grandfather reading me Prince Valiant uh, in the Sunday, you know, the old Harold Foster classic comic strip from the, well, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s. I don't know when they stopped running them. Maybe somebody else was doing them. Sometimes you think, like, the old comic books aren't around anymore because maybe they're not being uh, syndicated in your local area, but they are. You'll go to another city in another state and look at the newspaper, and there it is. Uh, but, you know, of course, there's different people doing it now. Uh, but, you know, n nostalgia more than anything else. Prince Valiant. Um, I'm going to give this to, this is Teen Titans, uh, Batman, Sampler. Number one, this will probably go to my nephews. Kind of a kiddie book, but, you know, sort of fun. Um, one I'm real happy about is, well, here's another one that I'll be giving to the my nephews. SpongeBob. Freestyle Sunnies. That's, uh, and, you know, if you've got kids or a kid in the family and you're just looking for another one, or, you know, friend's kid or whatever, um, you know, sometimes I'll pick up some of these, like, to give to... Uh, friends, uh, children, and I absolutely, this is probably my favorite freebie uh, of the day, this is reprints of some old Buck Rogers of the 25th century, um, I eat up, some of you know I eat up the old time, um, I'm blanking out on who did Buck Rogers, can you believe that, who did Buck Rogers, I know, but I'm just like, my brain is just uh, gone. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, 
let you look at the inside of it. Uh, obviously, reprints. This looks like it's from the 30s or 40s. You know, I'm really looking forward to this. It's not just my favorite favorite freebie, but maybe my favorite book I picked up this week. Pick of the week, we'll say. Really like that a lot. Okay, so that's it for my haul for the freebies, the figurines, and like I said, I was planning on getting more. I only spent about half the amount of money I was planning on spending. You know, just couldn't take it, but um, it was a good day. A really great turnout despite the horrible weather and all. Um, and uh, on the contest, uh, some of you may know that I'm doing a 100 subscriber contest, and it's on, uh, if you can, you know, talk about Marv Wolfman uh, or the artist George Perez. Uh, if you can say something about New Teen Titans, that would be okay. We also expanded a little bit so you could talk about some legendary comic book artists that you haven't discovered that you're eager to discover, you know. A brief video is fine. We've already had like four or five that have been really good. Uh, there haven't been a lot of videos submitted for the contest yet, but it's like the cream of the crop is showing up, you know. Uh, we've got my friend Cursive Man. I uh, did it really good. I learned about Perez Holt that I didn't even know about. Um, um, Harry Monster 666. I highly recommend his uh, wonderful videos, um, you know, uh, talked in depth uh, about Wolfman and Perez and uh, the Titans and some other things. A really great video. Blade, what is it, 91110? I'm sure I'm not getting that right. Um, and Sleepy Reader 666. Um, I think there's another one, too. Please forgive me. But, uh, you know, the deadline is next Saturday, uh, May the 11th. Uh, so, you know, just a short video, and I'm going to do a drawing uh, for the, I meant to bring it out and show it to you again, but I'm giving away uh, Wolfman and Perez's reunion piece uh, called Games, a trade, soft cover trade, uh, and uh, that's going to be the, uh, the prize. And just to sweeten the pot a little bit, um, I'm going to toss in this 1988 Wonder Woman annual. Uh, and the reason being is that this is a Perez work. I've talked in my videos, but someday, I mean, I want to do a video all about Perez's Wonder Woman, which in my opinion uh, is the greatest Wonder Woman in her entire 70 year plus run uh, from the late 80s. And uh, this is, like I said, the annual from 1988. I'm going to, since it is a, a Perez work, I'm going to put that in with. Um, uh, with the trade, and uh, this is in pretty good shape. Uh, got a little bit of bending here on the back, in the upper left-hand corner, and I think down here there's just a slight, you know, a slight bend there. But otherwise, in pretty good shape. So just sweeten the pot a little bit for the con 100th subscriber contest, onesie Angelique. You know, if you're still on, if you're going to be on board for that. So anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This went longer than I planned, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really looking forward to everybody else's, uh, you know, free comic book day uh, videos and hauls. And uh, please, uh, you know, enter my contest. You've still got a week to go. And uh, let me know what you think about, you know, my books and the figurines and the freebies. And um, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope everyone has a wonderful free comic book day. And uh, I'll be in touch with you soon.